Hi and welcome, let's make a fun Halloween project. I made these pumpkins in another of my videos, but you could use any shop-bought pumpkin, plastic or similar. I like the fact that the pumpkin has a lid and we'll use this later, but yours doesn't have to have a lid at all. I love to craft and do projects with air dry clay, so that's what I'm going to use today. I'll be using the stone colour, but you can use white or any other sculpting medium. So I'm going to turn this pumpkin into something cute and fun for Halloween, a lovely piece of Halloween home decor. Follow along with me and I hope you'll make one too or something very similar. I've rolled my first piece of clay to about a quarter of an inch in thickness, then I take some tin foil to bulk out the lid of the little pumpkin. Doing this allows us to use an even thickness of clay and make sure that little stalk doesn't stick through the air dry clay. Take some hot glue or super glue and glue the tin foil in place. For the top of my pumpkin I'm making a Halloween witch's hat. So I take a large cookie cutter and cut my disc. You can always use a knife to cut this out. This is the rim of the hat so you just want to make sure this is larger than the size of your pumpkin. If you have a really big pumpkin you're going to do this with then I recommend adding more tin foil to give a bit of structure to this. When you press the clay into the tin foil, it just gives the clay something to grip onto and it will stick that way. If you're inspired by my videos, please do subscribe and hit the like button and comment below, all of which helps my channel grow. Let's give the pumpkin the rest of its witch's hat. I've scrunched up a little cone of tin foil and this is going to be inside her little hat. To make a clay cone, we just cut a slight curve and then a triangle to this curve. If you do find it easier, make a little card template first, make sure it fits around, and then cut it out just like this. To neatly knit these two sides together, you can use the score and slip method like I do in lots of my videos, but do just make sure you score really nicely down the sides and knit these two edges neatly together. Use your fingers and a tool if you need to. I just use a knife like this and just make sure it's blended nice and neatly on the outside and also on the inside. Take your time and enjoy sculpting the clay. You can take a little bit of water on your fingers and smooth it all out once you're nearly done. Make sure your little tin foil cone will actually fit inside here. If it needs to be a bit bigger, make it a bit bigger or smaller if need be. And then we're going to attach the witch's hat on top here. Leave it pointed if you wish, but I like to bend the top of mine over. As you work through your air dry clay projects, just sculpt and form the clay as you wish. The end of mine I feel is a bit long here, so I'm just cutting it off and reshaping it. And that's the beauty of the clay. You can just keep sculpting and keep changing it until you're happy with it and just have fun. Here I'm cutting a long strip of air dry clay to roll into a coil to neatly join the two sections of the hat together. Score all around the join line and add some slip if you wish. And then we add the coil around and then blend this in nice and neatly. It's really important to join two parts of clay together as best as you can, otherwise you might find it cracks or falls apart in that place. So I think it's definitely worth spending that little bit of extra time and sculpting and enjoying the process. You really don't need any fancy tools when it comes to crafting with air dry clay. I have a little video where I put in some DIY tools that you can make and find easily around your home. And I've got lots of projects here over on my channel which are easy to do and we mostly just need a knife on our hands. Add a little water and smooth it out with your fingers or you can use a larger paintbrush or a sponge. I'm pretty happy with how my witch's hat is turning out and this way the lid can still be removed as well. So don't attach it completely, it still removes and we can use it as our little dish still. Now we can add as many more details as we absolutely wish. I have my rolled out clay and I'm going to make a little door, some windows and some other accessories. Have a think, what else would you decorate your pumpkin with? Please do comment below and let us all know. 
You can get really creative and add lots of details and then we'll let this dry and we can paint it up. For now I'm just going to place everything onto the pumpkin and let it shape and dry and then we can attach these on once everything is fully dry. If you don't have a pumpkin like this or don't want to go out and purchase a pumpkin you could always use a little plastic Tupperware tub or something similar, a nice little round one or a little square shape, anything of your choice and decorate it in exactly the same way. Just enjoy the creative process and I'm sure you'll turn out with something beautiful at the end. You could add some wire or pipe cleaners to add some little legs to a little dot like this to make a little spider. Here I'm making a miniature broom, just adding some little details with the knife. So it couldn't be more simpler than that. You just need to break everything down into little shapes. And here I have a cocktail stick, a toothpick, chop it in half and insert it in for the broom handle. And there we have it, ready to paint. I'm going to add my little creations around the side of the pumpkin so they ideally need something to sit on so you could use some cardboard and cover this in the clay but I'm going to just roll out a disc of the clay rolling it out fairly thickly I'll be able to put the pumpkin on the top of this this element is optional really just like everything just do what you feel you want to create for your project here on my channel I just love to provide you with inspiration. I find that being creative is so therapeutic and I want you to take a part of that as well. You really can add so many details so just enjoy and do as much or as little as you wish. Can you guess what shape this is going to be? Just use your fingers and sculpt some shapes, absolutely anything you wish and then you can just test and see where you'd like to place these and then add them in. Our little pumpkin house needs a little cauldron and so this couldn't be simpler. I have a ball of clay using the end of a paintbrush and making a little hole. You can add some little handles as well if you wish. What else could we add? Let's add a little black cat. I cut the profile of the cat out of a flat piece of clay and then I'm using the toothpick to shape it. I feel the witch's hat needs a belt around it like they typically do so I rolled out a piece of clay and cut this and I just place this around and neaten it off at the back. I've added some baking parchment underneath so I can turn my piece as I need to. Then leave it aside to dry. This took around four days to dry completely but do make sure it's 100% dry before you paint or varnish. Clean up any areas with a damp cloth. The doors and the windows can be removed if need be and added a little bit of glue behind and set everything else in place with a little bit of super glue and let it dry completely. So next I take my acrylic paints and I paint this up with plenty of detail. Another really enjoyable part of the process. Once everything is dry then make sure you varnish to seal it so that it lasts. I've added a little tea light inside of mine and look how beautiful it turns out. So I do hope you're inspired to give something like this a go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next creative video. Bye for now.